Hi there. Do it too. I am having an aha moment from a awesome coaching call I had last night. And it's kind of funny. I realized that the things I am most often talking to people out in my coaching calls and with my coaching clients are actually the things I personally need to do as well. I don't know. I find that fascinating. For example, I had a great coaching call with a young man last night. I guess he's not that young, but he's, he's young compared to me. And we were discussing how he needs to narrow his focus and really get clear on his target audience. And he's been struggling with that and struggling with that. Like most entrepreneurs do, we have lots and lots of varied interests and it's really, really hard to just settle on one thing and then follow that one thing through to success. And then when we're done with that one thing, we can add the next thing. We tend to want to just start 20 to a thousand different ideas and never really follow any of them through to completion. And then we wonder why some things are really, really successful and some things never get any traction. And I realized that that's the exact same thing I do. I have a lot of interests and I get diverted really, really easily. And so we all need to remember to focus. Well, Sharon Hornellstrom here forgot to say that. I actually didn't forget. I thought, why do I jump into my name right away? Number one, you've probably been watching me for a while if you're watching this. And so you know who I am. Again, I go by the pajama grandma. These are kind of my big silky soft pajamas. My silky robe today. I like silky robes and I like soft, cushy, fluffy robes. But I just find it really fascinating and interesting that we see in other people what it is we need to see in ourselves. And I find that with my coaching, the more I'm seeing a topic come up and the topic's coming up over and over again, it's actually something that I need to work on and apply in my own life. I don't know, maybe wiser people than me have discovered that long ago, but I just find that it's, it's fascinating that those are the things that the universe decides to show me as well. So today, what am I working on? Well, of course, I'm going to work us on focusing in on my personal number one target audience and my ideal clients, since that seems to be what I've been coaching people on lately, that's obviously something that I need to get better at clarifying for myself and for my particular body of work. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish up my scavenger hunt in my Facebook Live group, or not my Facebook Live group, in my Facebook group, Supersize Your Business. I've begun a scavenger hunt. I've got all the videos and all the lessons and the units in there. But I need to do the connections. I need to do a couple of connecting um, posts to tie it all together and to make sure that I have the clues to the scavenger hunt in there because we're doing a contest at the end. So I want to make sure that I don't miss any of the clues so that people can actually get the whole scavenger hunt and win prizes because I think that makes it fun. I think it makes it a little competitive and business people tend to be competitive and to like competition. So we'll give them a game as they learn something which I know is how I learn. I love challenges and participating in games and things that have not only teach me something, but also have an, an overriding lesson. It's kind of like your hero's journey stories. There's always two stories involved in any great movie or story. They're the actual journey that the hero goes on to acquire or achieve something, but then there's the underlying journey of, who that person becomes in order to have that achievement and go on that journey and have that experience. So that's what I'm working on today. And I've got my mastermind call. I love mastermind call days because it's a great group of people and they're fun to interact with and to see their progress and see where all of us are going because it's as much for me as it is for them. I learn probably more than the people that participate in the mastermind group do. I take the most out of it in terms of um, actual lessons learned and knowledge and and what people are working on what's what's holding them up what are they struggling with and then what we need to do next to help them get past that obstacle <laughs> or hurdle so that's it that's what i'm working on today <laughs> go out make it an awesome day and i will see you tomorrow with another update as to what she's up to now as i transition from the offline brick and mortar world to the online world talk soon bye